Finally. Finally. It's happening. This has been coming my whole life. Welcome to the Ms. Mojo Dojo Casa House, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unhinged Ryan Gosling quotes about playing Ken. Ken's number one personality trait is just to look interested in things. Not be interesting. Don't make that mistake. For this list, we'll be looking at the actor's slew of Kenisms and ranking based on the level of Ken fusion we feel hearing or reading them. Can you feel the Kenergy? Are you Kenuff? Let us know in the comments. Number Ken, the untold story of Ken. This is a sign that you gotta do this movie. The I, utter disrespect. I texted it to Greta and I said, I shall be your Ken. <laughs> For I, his story must be told. The thought of a human Ken doll conjures up images of Hollywood's most attractive people. Luckily for us, Greta Gerwig knew Ryan Gosling was perfect for Barbie's plastic partner. Gosling had to give it some thought at first, but when the actor came upon a discarded Ken doll in his own backyard, he realized that Ken's plight was a tale waiting to be shared with the world. And he's continued to reference backyard Ken when talking about his filming experience. I felt like at one moment I was like a human male in my backyard picking up a Ken doll and then like somehow magically had become that doll and I was being picked up now by Greta Gerwig. <laughs> As we've seen, Gosling has gone all in, embracing Ken on a level none of us were ready for. He's admitted it wasn't a role he previously considered, telling Vogue it was never on his non-existent bucket list. Number 9. Supporting Barbie one of Ken's main functions is to support Barbie in all her endeavors and basically be her number one hype man. That and to never take attention away from her. Just remember that behind every great Barbie, there's a Ken who's totally fine with that. In a hilarious yet informative interview with GQ, Ryan Gosling shared some Ken essentials. Unsurprisingly, many items benefit Barbie in some way. Even Ken's multiple sunglasses are ultimately about helping Barbie. Dark ones are great because they can hide your sadness. You never want to risk bumming Barbie out. That's also why you have a second pair that are mirrored so you can reflect Barbie's greatness, because that's really your job. Gosling went on to encourage fellow Kens to accept their place in the background. If they're lucky, Barbie will drop something. If Barbie dropped something and she didn't notice it <laughs> and he got to pick it up, and say, hey, Barbie, you dropped this. She'd be like. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> oh my God. What a day that would be. Ken's job may officially be beach, but it sounds like the real work is focusing on Barbie at all times. Because she deserves it. Because she's Barbie and he's just Ken. Number eight, Ken's Ballad. Cause I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be Ken. Is it my destiny? Ask anyone what one of their favorite Barbie movie moments is, and they're liable to name I'm Just Ken. It's the perfect power ballad slash rock anthem that encapsulates all of Ken's insecurities and his desire to be seen. We knew Ryan Gosling could sing, and the seasoned performer knocked it out of the park for Beach. And I'm great at doing stuff. but he gives all the credit to Ken, telling the LA Times, quote, Ken sang that song. I never sang like that in my life. I don't know why or how that happened. Gosling spent much of his childhood singing and dancing, both on and off screen, so the star also looked to little Ryan for help playing Ken and belting out this instant banger. That kid had his hustle and he got me here and I owe him everything, but I was gonna like let him retire and take a load off. And I thought I had to pull him out of retirement one more time for one last heist. <laughs> and we made this film together. We love a humble king. Number seven, coming for the Ken haters. I was uh, surprised how, you know, some people were kind of clutching their pearls about my Ken as though they ever thought about Ken for a second before <laughs> this. In his preparation, Ryan Gosling seemingly developed a deep understanding of Ken's history and cultural significance, or lack thereof. So when the internet users began discussing if the actor was right for the role, Gosling was ready to fire back with decades of receipts. He knows that Ken is an afterthought with the comically vague job of beach and no established home to speak of. Generally, the watch is a symbol that you're busy and you have important things to do and cool places to be. When you're a Ken, you have none of those things. He found the hashtag not my Ken movement to be more amusing than upsetting, 
and reminded everyone that there are options. He told GQ, quote, If people don't want to play with my Ken, there are many other Kens to play with. We love to see it. Those are just, that's, that's the Ken life. Yeah, that's just the Ken life, yeah. Number six, he's got Kenergy. It's hard to remember a time when Kenergy wasn't a part of our everyday vernacular, and we have Ryan Gosling to thank for that. I'm so, proud of that. You, you now are playing Ken. Yeah, well, I have that Kenergy. <laughs> sure do. That he could feel. Obviously. Mm. The first time most people heard the word was during a July 2022 interview he did with Entertainment Tonight. At the time, he was promoting his action film The Gray Man. But naturally, Barbie questions kept popping up. Gosling gave us the basic details of that quote-unquote Ken life, which is a life of humble means. Ken's got no money, he's got no job, he's got no car, he's got no house. Wow. You know. Okay. He's going through some stuff. But this was just the beginning of his energy, a chaotic concept that he'd go on to mention throughout the press tour. Little did we know that the Kenaissance was approaching. It's the role <laughs> I was born to play. Yeah. You know, I've had this Kenergy, Don't. if you will. No, that's beneath you. And the Kenergy is, <laughs> is alive in me now. Number five, Kenning hard. They're Kenning everywhere. And they're Kenning so hard that they're gonna Ken themselves blind if they don't stop Kenny. Ryan Gosling has proven himself to be a rare example of positive method acting, which is why he's allowed to use Ken as a verb to describe the acts of being a Ken. We've noticed he sometimes struggles to keep a straight face, especially when what he's saying sounds like a euphemism. But Gosling's sincerity isn't in question. I just decided I'm just going to Ken as hard as I can. You know, I can in the morning, I can at night. <laughs> If I'm honest, I'm kenning a little bit right now. <laughs> In one interview, he praised the other actor's dedication to kenning at the maximum level. He's also looking out for his fellow Kens, revealing what would happen if a Ken wasn't kenning hard. This is to remind you of the box that you came in and the box that the world will happily put you back in if you don't ken as hard as you can every day. Honestly, is there any other way to ken? Well, now it's a verb for us too. Number four, you are Kenuff. How do we find our Kenergy? It's there the whole time. You got it so strong, I can feel it right now. Look no further. You are Kenuff. The Barbie movie has several inspirational characters and quotes, and its overall message of being true to yourself is one that everyone can embrace. Of course, Ryan Gosling champions everything the flick stands for, but he's also taken it to the next level with his own affirmation for his Kens. You're doing this for the Kens of the world? Got to do it for the Kens. Very marginalized. Nobody plays with the Kens. At a Toronto, Canada, get it, Canada, press event, he assured a reporter that he was Kenuff. Gosling always loves to spread humor and positivity, and now that there's a growing Ken unity of Kens, he basically encourages them every chance he gets. It's happening, it's happening now. <laughs> it's like the Kens are ever, I see all my Kens, there's Kens in this room. <laughs> we like to believe that we're all Kenuff. Barbies, Kens, humans, and yes, Alan's too. Oh, hi, Alan. There are no multiples of Alan. He's just Alan. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused about that. Number three, just along for the ride. Leaning up to Greta Gerwig's highly anticipated Barbie, we kept hearing from the cast that audiences should expect the unexpected. Margot Robbie told us whatever we think the yeah. Barbie movie is, it's not that. Right. How would you tease the movie or respond to that quote? I think I would never correct Barbie. It was an intriguing teaser that turned out to be accurate, since many moviegoers would describe the film as surprising in one way or another. Well, it was apparently a wild journey behind the scenes, too. What are you doing here? I'm coming with you. Did you bring your rollerblades? In an interview with the New York Times, Ryan Gosling provided a rather detailed amusement park analogy. Quote, I went on the ride and I'm still going on it. I don't want to leave the park. They're kicking me out. The park is closing, sir. But I order churros and they're coming, I swear. He really paints a picture with this quote, so we won't overanalyze it. It's not what you think it is, unless it is. What is and it? And then you know what it is, and then it, but, but I don't think that's what you think it is. Number two, Kenergetic Research. He introduced us to the idea of Kenergy, but Ryan Gosling doesn't know exactly what it means, though he has described it as involving a, quote, pink fever. In my case, it came on like a, like a, as a rash, mm. and then it turned into a tan. <laughs> and then suddenly you're shaving your legs and you're bleaching your hair, and it's, uh, you're wearing, you know, bespoke neon rollerblades. 
We all want to understand what this mysterious, intoxicating vibe entails, but as Gosling has hilariously pointed out, there's no money being invested to study it. You know, very little is known about Kennergy. <laughs> and we don't have the funding to, for the research. <laughs> <laughs> we know that it's... <laughs> We know that it's real, you know? Yeah. While there may not be any official research underway, plenty of fans, news outlets, and actual experts in psychology have done their own deep dives into the phenomenon. One loose definition that you could apply would be a lovable person who loves to support their partner and proudly wears pink and faux mink. We'll happily donate to this energetic good cause. But hopefully if this film and the conversation starts, we can start sort of funding it and really finding out like yeah. where, 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 what is Kennergy? Yeah. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ken's rule of three. If you're not being extra, are you even a Ken? I'm sure you're all aware of the Coco Chanel rule. Before you leave the house, you take one thing off. The Ken rule is you put three things on. We don't talk about Ken. Ironically, we've been talking about Ken a lot. I can't, uh... I can't even get into it, really. We don't have the time. <laughs> you know? It's a lot to be Ken, you know? But we need to talk about Ken at some point. Yes. Like, we don't well, talk about Bruno? No. <laughs> no, we don't talk about Ken. <laughs> we don't talk about Ken. Rocking the faux mink, apparently one of Gosling's favorite Ken essentials, along with the sick headband. If you can't define yourself by your thoughts or experiences or accomplishments, a faux mink can do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. You don't need any of that because you're the Ken in the faux mink. No Ken-splaining. Ryan Gosling wouldn't dare Ken-splain the Barbie movie. All my life been so polite, cause I'm just Ken. Being a Barbie dad, Gosling's daughters aren't big Ken fans. They are very supportive. I think they were a little confused. <laughs> First as to why you would want to play Ken, and what role does he work, fit into this movie, because, uh, in, you know. Um, but they were so supportive. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Making Ken Cinnabons With all the quips and Kenisms it brought, the BuzzFeed puppy interview was peak Ryan Gosling Kennergy. Everything about the video has been a gift including watching him and his incredible co-star Margot Robbie have some fun with two cute canines. What happened backstage, bro? Get out. What happened backstage, bro? <laughs> hey, dude, my dude, my dude. Once Gosling pulled out this confectionery analogy, it's all we could think about. He compared his experience trying to part with Ken to be the overwhelming, sometimes messy act of Cinnabon dough spilling out of a canister. You know, like once you open that canister, like it all just, it's very hard to, that stuff isn't going back in, so all you can do is pop them in the oven and enjoy the treat. It may not make total sense to some, but we're loving it anyway. Now please, tell us Pillsbury will actually make Ken-inspired cinnamon roll mix. Kenabuns, if you will. You know, and you're loving it. Yeah, you are loving making Cinnabuns. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.